Okay, so hi there. So this will be just a short overview of this uh, mirror tool. Uh, it's really a simple, small one, and I hope you find it useful. Good. If not, well, you know, whatever. <laughs> so um, once you downloaded the uh, from Gumroad this uh, runner file, you can just extract it here. And there is always some uh, folders in there about the versions and more info about it. Uh, be sure to check the Gumroad description of the uh, mirror tool. And this is you can see everything about the version supported, about tool and uh, stuff like that. So check this check this info for sure. How to install it? You go into the uh, so users, uh, your name, documents, Maya 216, in my case. Uh, so go in preferences, icons. And now, uh, once you are here, just drag and drop the entire folder, like this. The entire folder, and that's fine. And we are done here. Uh, you can go into Maya. And once you are there, just open the script editor. Uh, open back with downloaded folder and just drag and drop uh, this uh, mail file uh, onto my mail tab. Just drag and drop. Once there, Control A to select all and middle mouse mouse button drag it onto the shell. Here you can just uh, show. You can a little bit edit it, just so that it's a little bit cleaner. If you want, of course, enter, control A, select all, paste here. Uh, icon, just go into the folder and shelf icon and say all. So you have this. Thing. So this is the installation part. Uh, let's go over uh, how this thing works. So I have uh, something, some object random here. I made quickly, just to show you a little bit how it works. Uh, left click, so open, and this this is pretty much it. So, so uh, this tool is based on uh, Mirror Cut uh, tool, and I have it uh, in Maya 216. You still have it, but in Maya 216 extension one, I think. Uh, now there is just a mirror, but uh, you can use this uh, tool in any Maya version, even if it's uh, newest uh, Maya 217 uh, update 2, I think it's the latest one. Uh, it will work, yeah, uh, it will work. So, how this thing works is uh, uh, so you can just uh, choose in which direction you want to mirror. That's pretty much obvious. So you just look the axis. I want to look, say mirror on minus x. So this is pointing plus. I want to go mirror on the left side here. So I just choose minus. And you can see this plane. So just move it. So we can. So that's pretty much. So you can quickly go. So I want to now on this side again on the left on the z plus. So you can quickly build some interesting shape. Then I want to go Y axis minus. I guess. And you can, of course, oh, let me just do this. So you can just um, select the previous one and you can reset it a little bit. And yeah. Do whatever you want. And now uh, one thing, so this is the uh, step rotate function. Uh, so um, how this thing works is if you just hold it, you can get the tip. So if you left mouse button click, it does mirror. 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 <laughs> and if you shift plus, uh, go back. if you shift plus mouse plus uh, left mouse button click, then it will do step rotate for that button. So for this number here. So how this is working is if you just select the plane and then I shift uh, 
uh, shift click on plus it does this see? so it's tapping uh, so this is just a little a little a little thing so you can do quickly for example uh, on the minus here like this and then you can do like quick thing just this and then you can go on plus C you go really really fast can go really complicated object you can make that's that's the fun of them so it's really you can experiment and have some very complex objects just by dragging these planes again for example like this let's do a let's do another one so it's plus like this so we have some some kind of an object here now as usual in the outliner there is a lot of stuff now here so don't delete the history uh, manually what you have to do you just select the uh, select the object and just press done and clean and you will be left only with the clean object and you know and that's pretty much uh, pretty much how the um, uh, how the script works so for the one little last thing about the rotate of course you can change this thing like this opportunity it also works on the on the meshes like this uh, let me make it perhaps a bit easier to see okay. and also it remembers the your last input for example if i close it and open it again it's 30 or 45 and then if I use it one, I see it's so that's a small little thing. I hope it will be useful. Let's do one more just for fun. And done again. Quickly some interesting objects. I like this one too better. Uh, over the new uh, that it, it was introduced in Maya 216 extension over the there is now just mirror but I really prefer mirror cut because of this uh, plane and you can play around with it and it's much fun yeah <laughs> okay so that's it guys I hope you will uh, enjoy the tool if you have some issues and anything just go in onto the um, Gumroad page and just send me an email here or my Facebook page and anything and that's it. Cheers guys!